Let's turn your ground, Warrior 8027 Foxtrot. T hangers information, echo ready to taxi. Warrior 8027 Foxtrot, Worcester Ground, runway 29 or intersection departure from Bravo. Taxi via the Bravo Taxiway, hold short runway 29. Taxi 2 and hold short of runway 29 or via Bravo for 8027 Foxtrot. And if you have a minute, can we get a code with Bradley? Where are you going? Going to Golf Bravo Romeo at 4500 and PA 28. All right, hold on a second, we'll get that for you. Thank you. What are you uh, getting? Flight following. It's a longer flight over trees, so we, get, we don't have much to do, so I might as well get flight following. So that just means they're going to keep track of us? Yep, they give us radar advisories, let us know if there's any other traffic in the area, any weather, they help vector us around it. It's a good way to stay safe in the air. Sounds good. Ooh, maybe they'll have the new centerline lights on when we come back. Wow, that'd be awesome. Fuel pumps off, mixed use full ridge carpet. 4827 Foxtrot, maintain VFR on departure. And departure frequency will be 119.0, your squawk is 5375. Squawk at 5375, VFR on the way out, and departure 119.0. Thanks so much. 4827 Foxtrot, Roger. Okay. You are run up, so toes the brakes. Engine up 2,000 RPM. I love that controller, she's my favorite. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. Worcester Tower, Warrior 8027 Foxtrot, holding short 29 at Bravo, ready for departure. Warrior 8027 Foxtrot, Worcester Tower, runway 29 from the intersection of Bravo. On course approved, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff on 29 intersection departure, on course 8027 Foxtrot. Well, that system is now working. I don't think the marker beacon system has worked at this airport in like 20 years. What is that? Those are called marker beacons. There's usually three at the end of ILS approach runways. I leave it on all the time in my airplane, so that way if you ever end up somewhere that you're not expecting to and you hear it go off, you know that you are way closer to an active runway than you should be. Bradley Approach Warrior 8027 Foxtrot, 5 miles to the west of Worcester, checking in 4,500 level. Remember 8027 Foxtrot, Bradley Approach, radar contact, and Bradley Altimeter 3023, and say destination. 023, we're headed to Great Barrington, Golf Bravo, Romeo. Thank you, sir, and change to my frequency 125.35. 2535, 8027 Foxtrot. November 6, 9, of Whiskey Contact, Boston Center, 123.75. Anyway, while we're on our way over uh, to Great Barrington to go fly some Piper Cubs, that's been a long time dream of Xavier's, so I wanted to make sure that he was there to do that. Why don't you tell us a little bit about some of your adventures you had yesterday, Mr. Air Force Cadet? Yeah. Um, yesterday, I had a really unique opportunity to take an incentive ride on a KC-10, which is one of the uh, U.S. Air Force's two... Uh, refueling aircraft. They have the KC-10, the KC-135. Um, KC-10 is going to start being phased out uh, as they move the KC-40. I don't remember which one they're they're moving in. Uh, they have a new aircraft coming in, which is going to be a little more new and improved. Uh, but we have the opportunity to go down to Joint Base uh, McGuire Dix Lakehurst to fly some of their uh, or to get a ride on one of their uh, KC-10s as they did a refueling of a C-17 and then we were refueled by a KC-135, so it was a really unique opportunity to see how they do that from both, uh, both perspectives and see the, um, and just be in the back while the boom operator is, is maneuvering the, uh, the giant um, hose, essentially, <laughs> to, uh, to the top of the aircraft, and then being on the other side where you're in the cockpit and watching as that thing is, is quite literally only like 50 feet from this air you know, the, air the cockpit, and then you have to fly a little bit past it to then get it to actually plug into the top of the aircraft. It was really, really cool. Um, could, have not, could not have asked for a more perfect day. It was bright, bright blue skies, little clouds flying about flying over the ocean. It was really, really cool. Yeah, I was pretty jealous. <laughs> My question to you guys is, which is scarier? Being the airplane underneath, looking up at the belly of the other one? or being in the cockpit of the tanker and not being able to see the guy behind you. Five, Echo Sierra, contact Boston Center, 123.75. And lastly, if you guys from around New England have any extra bucket list items you think I should do either before I move to Florida in a couple of months or something I should come back for, 
let me know in the comment section because I'm curious. I've been flying around here for the last couple of years and lived here my whole life, so it's kind of, uh, you know, I'm ready to move on, but uh, if there's something else that's worth doing, I want to know about it, so let me know. And like I said, we'll catch you on the flip side. jacket looks in the wind. Have fun guys. Hello. Can you hear me? Yep. Cool. Well we're good to go now so uh, I'm going to start taxiing up. Great Barrington traffic. Yellow Cup is going to back taxi two niner. Actually we'll cross two nine and back taxi on the grass. Great Barrington. All right. So oil pressure is up. Oil temperature is up. And our altimeter is set, which is just fine. Brady is on and our volume's up, so we'll be able to hear other people this time. And, uh, okay. So we're going to do a little bit of a S-turn taxi here, just because you can't really see out in front. You may be able to better, but I can't. Um, all right, so let me talk you through what to expect. We're going to get to the end and do a quick run-up. Okay. And uh, then we're going to let the grumbling go in front of us. We'll take off, and we rotate kind of whenever the plane wants to rotate. All right. And then we climb out uh, right around 60. And so actually, the important point, I think it's in the left right, where we basically realize that and uh, give it up. And uh, that's really all there is to it. We'll fly a pattern and see how this thing works out. They can get some good sh uh, footage from the ground. And then we'll head west. Sounds good. To uh, go to some grass. I think I'll take off on the grass just to give you that experience. Sounds like a plan. So, we do a run up here. I'm going to come up to seven, uh, 1800 RPM, or as close as possible. Basically, however the brakes will hold us. Left mag, right mag, left mag, bolt. Check the car peat, which is here. Sorry. There you go. Car peat's good. And oil pressure and temperature is good, so we'll box out controls. I do a full usage, they do what I want them to do, the rudder works, and uh, that's all there is to it, we're good to go. Flow, fuel is good, trim is set, carpet's off, so we're going to depart. Sounds good. Great Barrington traffic, yellow cup departing 2-9 on the grass, close traffic, Great Barrington. Also full power. And just a tiny bit of wind correction there. Plane's ready to fly. There we go. And we'll go out over the runway. And uh, up, up, and away. Woo! Climb out the uh, six. Great Barrington traffic, Cherokee 558, five, five, Christian Wild. And that's all there is to it. The Grumman is departing up there to the uh, north. Yep. No factor. Yeah, we'll just keep climbing. A nice performing cup. All right, we'll start our crosswind turn here. So you leave with the rudder in the cup. So this is Baldwin Hill. This is like one of my favorite spots to drive up to. To do what? Just drive up there when I'm not lucky enough to be in the sky. Ah. <laughs> to enjoy the views. That's really pretty. Yeah, it's great. Uh, all right, we'll turn down when the plane is just landed on final, so. Great Barrington, traffic yellow cup, a left downwind, runway 29 there, Great Barrington. Bring our power back and we'll just do a car peak check here. Now this plane, if you let the car peak out all the way, will run too rich. So you kind of have to use 75% power, 75% uh, car peak. Interesting. 
view. How do you feel with that? Is it all right? It's like, kind of hard to hold. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll give it to Nick on this on this landing. All right. I'm gonna trim it up now for landing. And uh, yeah, keep a tight pattern here. We're already low, so. And I may slip when we're on final. Great French traffic, yellow cover left base, 29 on the hard top, great French. Sorry. Oh, you're good. All right. Yellow cover final, 29, great French. And we're going to do a little bit of a slip here. Okay. I can show you what it feels like in the cup. Oh, interesting. Isn't that fun? <laughs> By the way, the stall indicator is a cub when, when the door lifts up like that. Uh. <laughs> That's the only indication we have. It's all by feeling here. There's a wheel landing, and now we keep the tail up for as long as possible. Yep. And I'll actually save us time. I'll do a fast taxi here. And as we bring the power back, we're pushing the stick more and more towards the front. A nice soft release there. All right, now where is he? He's uh, on our left, about oh. one o'clock. Oh, okay, let's... Great to traffic, yellow cup departing 2-9 from the grass at westbound, great bearing. Ready to go? I am. All right. 